at Toyota, we went down a mixed reality journey as part of our digital transformation, where we're trying to empower employees by giving them the technology they need to get their jobs done. With the data and the analytics and the dashboards, we're really building a platform for the digital future of the district. With Microsoft Azure IoT Hub, we have the ability to accurately predict, will that circuit board fail? Guides is like taking the whole factory handbook and bringing it to life. We believe how you integrate the tools and how you then position them with your customers is absolutely the way to go ahead. Since we deployed a power virtual agent, we've only had to escalate about 3% of the time to an actual human. It's hard to think that that's not a success story every single time. Hi everyone, it's James Phillips, president of Microsoft's Digital Transformation Platform Group, and this is my favorite time of year. This is the time when we get to come out and show off the great work that the team has done uh, to deliver what is now going to be wave two of 2021. You know, we've been at this now for, for several years. It's kind of hard to believe actually that semester after semester after year after year, we've been innovating. Um, and, and even through this pandemic, we've continued to deliver capabilities and we've got hundreds of capabilities that we're gonna talk about today, show off today. We've got seven demos where we're gonna demonstrate to you the new value that we're delivering in Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, uh, and the larger Microsoft Cloud. Now, technology's neat, features are cool, uh, but ultimately it's about customers. And so I'm really, really proud um, to sort of highlight some of the world's most iconic brands who are now leveraging the Power Platform, leveraging Dynamics 365, the broader Microsoft Cloud, to transform their business processes. In fact, over half a million companies every single month, and for all practical purposes, all of the Fortune 500, are now using Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform to transform the way they do business, get more value out of their assets, ensure their supply chain is resilient, engage customers differently. So I'm gonna set some context now. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening across the business process spectrum and how the Microsoft Cloud Dynamics 365, the Power Platform come together to enable fundamental change. So this is your customer. Let's, let's assume that you are a manufacturer of some capital equipment that's used by an auto manufacturer to build cars. It's right there in the center. It's that little pyramid hanging down in front of the person. Uh, one day that piece of equipment goes on the blink, it, it fails. The, the production line is down, the customer's in crisis, they pick up the phone, they call your customer service center, someone on the other side picks up the phone, they answer and they open an application. That application is the same as it's always been. Forms over data, open a new case record, listen to the customer, take notes, dribbling data down into a relational database, an incredibly reactive process with an application that really hasn't changed the game from what we were doing, frankly, in 1950. It's just not on paper anymore. Uh, this, though, is fundamentally changing. What's happening is everything is increasingly connected. Not only you and your customer and your suppliers and your customers' customers, but everything in the environments, people, places, things, products, services, are increasingly connected and streaming data. Every thermostat, car, jet engine, everything is increasingly a source of potential insight. Data is flowing from everything, not because someone opened an app and typed something into a form, because everything is increasingly um, laden with sensors and connected to the internet. And this ultimately changes what's possible. If you think about the ability to harness this signal, we have spent the last 10 years making it possible to start from data. Microsoft Azure, today the world's largest footprint of data center capacity on the planet, gives you a place to capture all of that data. Um, whether it's big data, little data, streaming, batch process, structured, unstructured, a place to hold it, to comply with nation state regulations where that data has sovereignty, to ensure its privacy, and to extract value, predictive value from that data. The Microsoft AI platform, um, the most high efficacy AI platform uh, in the cloud, first to, to achieve human parity with natural language understanding, can take that data 
and turn it into predictions, into insights. From there, the Azure Application Platform, Power Platform, can take those predictions and insights and turn them into applications and workflows. That is the foundation for Office 365, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, applications that are now built on this substrate, starting from data, allowing predictive business process. This collective, Azure, Power, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, all built on a singular, common, consistent identity management security platform gives you what you need to build applications that are fundamentally different. These applications, in some ways, you can view as a sandwich that start from data and work their way up through predictions delivered to your employees and to your customers to ensure that your business processes are now data-fueled versus app-led. And so look at this application uh, in this new world. Now in the hands of your employee, the application uh, that your employee is using is being fed by data coming from that piece of capital equipment. It's flowing into an anomaly detection model, and there's a prediction that that piece of equipment is actually on its way to failure. Not that it has failed, but that it is displaying signs of imminent failure. This allows you to be predictive and proactive, to pick up the phone, to open Microsoft Teams, and to establish a proactive conversation with the customer where you walk them through the diagnosis and the remediation of this potential problem before it takes the production line down. Now, there's another important change happening uh, in addition to the one that we've already talked about. We talked about data AI flowing upward to the applications, but increasingly, the communication channel and the business processes themselves are fusing. Why should I, as a customer service representative, need to type into a form what the customer's saying when I can listen to that digital interaction and automatically create a transcription, where I can translate that transcription in multiple languages, where I can pick out keywords, where I can listen to the customer and suggest to that customer service rep things they might say to help resolve the problem. So this fusion, of communications, collaboration, and business process uh, through the merger of things like Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365, another huge shift in the business uh, applications landscape sandwiched uh, between data, AI, and the business process. And we're gonna see that today as we look through these demos and see this convergence of Teams, Dynamics, and the leverage of that entire Microsoft Cloud stack centered on data. Now, if you look across the business process spectrum, we've really focused in this example on customer engagement, but it spans everything that's happening in business, whether it's your supply chain and needing a, a more resilient supply chain, getting more efficiency out of your assets, connecting your employees, empowering them to collaborate and to create together, or the nature of your products and services and how you build them and how you support them across the entire landscape of business process, we've built solutions centered on the Microsoft Cloud, leveraging its unified totality to solve problems uh, process by process by process and across industries. So the Microsoft Cloud for industry, we've announced for retail, financial services, healthcare, nonprofit, take that Microsoft Cloud sort of horizontal set of capabilities and tailor them for specific industries and specific business processes, and not just from us, but from our partners. These industry clouds, which gather together the best of the Microsoft Cloud and tailor them for industry, is itself a platform atop which our partners are innovating. And so with that context, uh, I'm gonna throw it over to Charles Lamana. Charles is gonna give you a bit more depth in what we're doing with Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, uh, and then we'll go to the demos. I'm excited. We've got seven, actually two for Xerox, but six companies that we're gonna talk about how they've transformed from reactive to predictive across the business process landscape, fusing communications with business process. Uh, and to kick us off, I'm, I'm gonna turn it over to Charles Lamana. Charles, take it away. Thank you, James. Before we jump into the demos and show you some of the latest capabilities, I want to share how we are specifically approaching the next generation of business applications. We are entering a new era of business applications that start from data, use AI, and are built for collaboration. As James mentioned, data is coming from everything today. We have more and more digital surfaces like e-commerce or digital products, and we're creating digital twins of everything from assets to products and to processes. 
And every company today is trying to figure out how to get the most value from that data, how to use AI to be more predictive and proactive. And it's not just about breaking down the silos between data. Nowadays, you also need to break down silos between people, across departments, across the company, and externally with customers and partners. Teamwork and collaboration is core to modern work, and the way teams work is changing. It's not just a point-to-point -point phone call or text message or chat message. It's how do you bring together the right data with the right people at the right time so you can run your key business processes more efficiently. We call this Context IQ. That combination of data, AI, and collaboration is what we are making real today with Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, and Teams. A new era of data-first, intelligent, collaborative applications. As we go to the future, we think that all our customers are going to increasingly bring together the data and people inside of their organization. You can't just have a department sitting on their information and data and not sharing it or not working with others. You need to make business data available to everyone, everywhere. You've got to break it open and make it so that at a company level, data and collaboration become a company asset. One data strategy and one collaboration strategy that leverages all the different parts of your organization. And to enable that collaboration, you need to make communication a key part of all your business applications. It needs to be effortless to message, call, or video conference with someone. Easy communication is essential. And lastly, we need to modernize business applications. Just like Word or PowerPoint added co-authoring and collaboration so people could easily work together, we need to do the same thing with Dynamics 365. Business applications are now multiplayer. And the concept we use to describe these trends is collaborative applications. If you look at the whole Microsoft Cloud story, it builds up from infrastructure at the bottom all the way to applications at the top. Azure, Power Platform, and Visual Studio make it easy to create new and engaging experiences. Dataverse and Microsoft Graph are the data fabric across Office 365 and Dynamics 365. Collaborative applications are at the heart of every Dynamics 365 app that we are delivering at Microsoft today. And when we talk about collaboration, there are multiple layers to it. You, of course, need to drive collaboration within your immediate teams. That's within your sales team or your customer support organization. But it doesn't stop there. It's critical to collaborate across functional boundaries. Legal, engineering, or marketing need to be involved with the sales process. And they should be able to do that with the collaboration tools they already know like Microsoft Teams. And of course, collaboration does not stop at the boundaries of your company. You need to engage your customers and partners as well, all inside of your business application. No other technology vendor offers this kind of integration and accessibility across the organization. And we made these lightweight Dynamics 365 experiences available to Office users at no additional cost. It's free. We are blurring the line between Office and Dynamics like never before. Work where you want to and how you want to. This is one of the biggest stories of the Wave 2 release. Dynamics 365, the power platform and teams offer powerful new ways for everyone across an organization to seamlessly exchange and capture ideas right in the flow of work. Today, through the lens of our customers, we are going to show you some real world examples of this vision. Sandvik Coromont is the world's leading supplier of tools, tooling solutions, and know-how to the manufacturing industry, with 8,000 employees in over 130 countries. Their customers rely on them to provide the highest level of knowledge, service, and support to achieve their goals for productivity and profitability. Many of their employees interface directly with customers, and it's easy to lose track of who's talking to their customer and what they've promised. With Dynamics 365 sales and customer service and leveraging the power of Microsoft Teams, we're delivering an all-in-one digital contact center solution that brings everything together. Let me introduce Lori and Ryan, who are going to show you a vision of how Sandvik Coromont is breaking down silos with Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365. Thanks, Charles. At Sandvik Coromont, account managers own the customer relationship. Sandvik's customers are making large and repeated purchases, and they need to feel like they have a trusted relationship with the seller and Sandvik Cormont all up. 
So even though Sandvik Cormont has a ton of customers, they need each one to feel special. Each seller coordinates across the company on behalf of their customers. Whether specialist support, technical sales, or team members, or external partners, they offer solutions that fit their customers' needs. How they do this matters. Let's start with Eric, an account manager. Like all of us, he's building relationships digitally. These days, he's able to talk to a lot more customers every day, but he needs technology to help him make sure each one of these connections is unique and personal. As he preps for his day, he relies on Dynamics 365 sales to tell him which activities he should focus on to be most impactful. His work is prioritized using data and AI, learning what is best for each customer. He can easily spot who he needs to contact and review the suggested actions. He has an upcoming call with Emma, who works at one of the largest accounts, and it's clear why this was prioritized high in his work queue. Eric digs in. To get ready, he quickly reviews a summary of the previous call, action items, and scans the highlights. If he needs more, he has full call transcripts right there. Can you send me some updated product specs and price sheets? The executive summary really helps him get up to speed quickly and ensures that he can be efficient yet effective for his call and deliver an amazing level of service. Using Teams within Dynamics, he clicks to call Emma. Notice how he can keep within the same screen context without needing to jump between applications. He can access business data and take notes while the call is being transcribed for him. But Dynamics 365 Sales is not just taking notes. It's helping Eric be more effective. Any business critical insight mentioned during the call is captured and highlighted. Relevant information is linked so he doesn't have to scramble to find it. And suggested actions are surfaced. Eric is way more effective having this conversation over Teams with all of these tips, even more effective than doing it face to face. Emma requests to expedite the order. That is highlighted automatically in the call. Eric must mobilize a lot of people across Sandvik Coromont to make that happen. While still in his call with Emma, he can easily access previous Teams chats about this opportunity. He can see the latest deal room chat and all of the players involved. He quickly posts to that chat in a pop-up window, asking if the order can be expedited. Almost immediately, he receives a reply from the product specialist indicating that the order can be delivered as soon as 24 hours. Still on the call with Emma, Eric shares the update. And actually, I've already received word from my production team that the order absolutely can be expedited and we can have it there within 24 hours. Wow, that's fantastic. I love how you're able to respond real time to that request. It is so great that he can resolve her requests real time, knowing that by collaborating with his colleagues, his customer promises can be delivered. As he hangs up, a rich call report is automatically generated. In the past, account managers would have to write a summary, an activity often left to the end of the day or the end of the week, or sometimes really not at all. With Dynamics 365 Sales, he not only has a transcript of the call, but AI has also generated an executive summary with highlights and action items. Eric can see a quick overview of who was talking and the customer sentiment at the time coaching him to build his skills, strengthening relationships. Uh, well, to be honest, I'm having a really bad day. Action items are clear and incorporated into future work prioritization, such as his promise to call her next week. He can take care of that right away and schedule the meeting. With Dynamics 365 Sales and Microsoft Teams, account managers at Sandvik Cormont can focus on the right deals and be confident no action is missed to ensure they provide the highest level of service to their customers. And this isn't just for sales reps. Let's look at how Sandvik Cormont is making their customers happy using Dynamics 365 customer service. Let's see it, Ryan. Thanks, Lori. Let's look at what happened the week after the expedited order arrived at our customer's site. 
Molara, our customer service agent, starts her day with intelligent recommendations as to which cases have the highest priority and the most impact to customers. No longer having to scroll through hundreds of emails, instant messages, texts, or even different applications ensures that Malara focuses on her personal top priority, making sure Sandvik Corman's customers are satisfied. Our new agent workspace inbox allows Malara to effectively navigate her cases or conversations and addresses the customer's issue in a timely manner. Intelligent routing uses AI models and rules to assign incoming requests from all channels to the best suited agents, who are then guided by our core productivity features such as AI-based suggestions and knowledge search. Malara starts to work on her top priority case, which is from Emma, who is urgently looking for help with a more optimal machine deployment in their facility after the expedited order was delivered. Molara quickly starts a collaboration through a Teams chat directly from within customer service. This action supports customer service agents bringing in the right team. In the past, this would have taken several hours of research just to locate the right colleagues. And now, AI and rule-based suggestions guide agents. Molara is advised to bring in a team of consisting of a senior agent, account manager, and the product manager representing the ordered product. There's even a suggestion to collaborate with an available senior agent, Kyle, who has recently resolved a similar case. She might not know Kyle, but he's clearly got relevant experience. That's all possible thanks to the power of the Microsoft Graph, enabling us to offer experiences around the user's unique context in order to help them be more productive, just like Malara, adding Kyle to this case. As we now have the right group of people in the collaboration, Molara automatically sends a context cards in Teams linking the case so everyone can see all the context. As the group aligned, information is seamlessly shared, allowing individuals to quickly execute with all the right information at hand. Thanks to Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365, Everyone at Sandvik Cormit can now collaborate to achieve the best customer outcomes. The group decide the best next action to come to a case resolution would be to schedule an application specialist visit so that they can assist the customer with a more optimal machine setup at the facility. In this specific example, the best next step to quickly resolve the case was made in a matter of minutes because everyone across the organization was informed and had insights into everything that was going on. Working across the silos of an organization greatly reduces the time needed to ensure the best response for customers. Natively, combining Microsoft Teams with Dynamics 365 customer service allows customers just like Sam McCormont to connect, recommend, and improve their customer experiences across the entire company. With that being said, let's hand it back to Charles. This is one of my favorite demos because you can truly see collaboration at the core, a data-first approach, and AI embedded at every step, delivering truly connected customer engagement. All the investments in this wave are to enable Dynamics 365 sales, Dynamics 365 customer service, and Microsoft Teams to collaborate and share information seamlessly, delivering upon their customers' high expectations. Sandvik can automatically route leads to the right sellers to improve lead qualification and accelerate deal velocity. Microsoft Teams embedded chat experiences empower sellers to stay within their sales workflows and collaborate with key stakeholders across the company, closing deals faster. Agents can have an integrated inbox view into their customer service workspace and omnichannel to improve both collaboration and productivity. And all of this is key to Sandvik, reimagining business processes and breaking silos across departments to deliver faster and better experiences for their customers. Moving to the next demo, one of our main focuses for this wave has been on building deeper integration between our marketing and sales apps. 
Dynamics 365 Customer Insights enables customers to activate their data to create hyper-personalized experiences for their end customers in both B2C and now with Wave 2, B2B engagements. For an existing Dynamics 365 marketing customer, the integration with Customer Insights makes it easy to intelligently orchestrate across different touch points. So we are going to hand it off to Lydia, who's going to share with you the exciting journey we're on with WB Mason to light up their B2B customer engagement. Thanks, Charles. When you woke up this morning, how many emails did you have from companies trying to entice you to buy from them? I had 12 generic reminder emails that end up in my junk folder, trying and failing to get me excited about purchasing from them again. And that doesn't stop at home. It's the same at work. From all angles, companies are really trying to keep your business without actually understanding you well enough to know what you want. Come back to us emails, Instagram ads, offer texts. With all of this noise, I don't know who to choose. WB Mason wants to give their customers something so much better. What would it take for them to be able to see what a B2B customer actually wants and give it to them? We know today that the answer is personalization that's transformed into individualization. Meaning it's not just about knowing which groups they fall into, but giving each person a completely unique experience. We're taking our incredible success in the B2C space and adding on advanced capabilities that will transform the experience of B2B customers. Let's see how through the lens of WB Mason. In our story, Tailspin Toys is a longtime B2B customer of WB Mason. They have a number of key stakeholders, all managed by one sales manager, Kieran. Unfortunately, Customer Insights' intelligent activity-based segment suggestions has analyzed their behavior and identified that Tailspin Toys falls into the risk of churn segment. Wouldn't it be so frustrating to put so much energy and effort into building a relationship with them and then lose them? Time is of the essence here. We need to act fast if we want to maintain their loyalty. Using the new B2B capability from Customer Insights, we have a clear understanding of what's happening. One of their key stakeholders, May, has gone from being a loyal customer who purchases every month to one who hasn't made any purchases in the past two months, tempted elsewhere by a lower price. We understand that she wants an easy experience and competitive pricing. Let's win her back by giving her what she wants. One of the strengths of our platform is we can meet our customers where they're at. If we look at WB Mason, they have the option to use customer insights alongside their existing sales, marketing, and commerce applications. Our solutions integrate easily with their existing stack. In today's example, we're showing the incredible power of the connected Microsoft Cloud. When May was added to the risk of churn segment, this immediately kicks off the risk of churn journey in Dynamics 365 marketing. This journey is incredible because it coordinates engagement with both our internal stakeholders, like our account manager, and our external stakeholder, the customer, in one clear flow. At the beginning of the journey, Dynamics 365 Marketing presents the account manager with a high priority task in Dynamics 365 Sales. This is achieved using our new Power Automate integration. We can connect our journey to a custom Power Automate flow unlocking the power of the entire ecosystem of Power Automate connectors. The task gives him the option to approve the automatic generation of an AI-generated offer. This removes all of the legwork for our account manager and ensures May will be receiving an offer that truly meets her needs. We want to make sure his manager is happy with this decision. He can use Teams in any context and jump straight into a chat with the manager. They both have direct access to all of the information needed to clearly understand where the customer is at, quickly collaborate, and move forward. A fast and coordinated response will be crucial to keep the customer. Having agreed, in sales, he approves the offer generation. The approval in sales prompts Dynamics 365 Marketing to move on to the next stage of the journey. The next stage is to send our customer the personalized offer. We want to meet May in the channel that she's most likely to engage with. Marketing uses AI to pick the best channel for May, in this case, email or SMS. 
If she prefers SMS, we have a few options. We've been able to deliver messages via text for a while working with ACS, but we know that lots of our customers use different providers, so we now also support SMS engagement using Twilio and Talasign. If she prefers email, we have that covered too. In this case, marketing has identified that she does prefer email. So how is the email designed? The template was designed with the help of the new AI-generated content ideas capability. GPT-3 takes the key points that the marketer is trying to get across to the customer and in real time uses AI to create a series of smart recommendations to choose from to include in the email. We can see on screen here the awesome suggestions that AI is producing. These are real suggestions run off WB Mason's marketing assets and are incredibly helpful. These AI-generated content ideas are so powerful. Marketers writing content no longer have to start from a blank screen and get a huge jump start from AI. This is something no other product in the market can do today. In May's case, the email includes a link to a tailored commerce site. When she lands in the Dynamics 365 Commerce site and navigates to her account, she'll see the offer clearly displayed at the top of the site with the discount already applied. She can head to her order templates to see her regularly purchased items and easily check out. Doesn't that sound ideal? Won't May open this and think, finally, you get what I want and you're making it easy for me to have it. That's what happens and that's why May can go ahead click order and feel relieved that she can rely on WB Mason to understand her and give her what she needs. And we can do this at scale. Dynamics 365 Customer Insights automatically forms rich account profiles that look across all channels and identifies exactly where, when, and why a customer chooses to remain loyal or look elsewhere. Dynamics 365 Marketing automatically takes this information and creates hyper-personalized individual journeys for each customer within an account. And our team members can collaborate seamlessly using integrated Teams capabilities to ensure experiences are delivered faster than ever. We saw over the past few minutes how WB Mason can deliver hyper-personalized AI-led experiences across many different channels to May, and thousands of other customers. But this raises a really important question. How are organizations ensuring that these hyper-personalized experiences comply with their customers' individual consent boundaries? This is a huge challenge today. When you're using a whole mix of solutions to connect with your customers, the risk of not meeting customer privacy and policy obligations just grows and grows. What would it look like if you could use as many engagement solutions as you wanted, like Adobe, LinkedIn, and Dynamics 365 Marketing, and be confident that you're respecting every single customer's consent boundaries? As part of Wave 2, we're releasing Customer Insights' new consent management capability that does just that. Customer consent data automatically flows across your insight and action apps so team members no longer have to waste time checking if and how they can contact customers. This is the first consent harmonized customer data platform in the market today, and it's going to transform the way you engage with your customers. And with that, back to you, Charles. Thank you, Lydia. As we saw at WB Mason, providing meaningful customer experience can no longer be done with siloed data. Collaboration between marketing and data science teams is crucial to unlock the potential of your data estate with Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. And creating value and building trust go hand in hand. As Lydia mentioned, privacy and consent is now baked into Dynamics 365, so you can balance customer experience and customer expectations for privacy. So let's move on to mixed reality, one of the most exciting areas we are working on that is the future of work. Mixed reality is not an idea, an experiment, or a proof of concept. It's being used broadly by our customers every day across countless industries with Dynamics 365. The use cases are abundant from remote assistance, step-by-step -step training, procedural compliance, and maintenance. Dynamics 365 Guides provides a heads-up and hands-free interaction model that lets operators move through instructions with just a glance. 
but we know that as mixed reality is integrated more and more into the business, the operators must deal with more and more information. So we've got a new interface that is always at your fingertips and lets you quickly access the information that you need, then get straight back to the real work. That includes real-time insights about performance, as well as importing existing work instructions from our step-by-step -step authoring tool. As part of Wave 2, we've taken collaboration to the next level in our mixed reality applications and brought calling into Dynamics 365 guides. Remote experts can work together in real time and see what their coworker is seeing with the added context of the guide they are using. They can use this for inspections, assistance, or even co-authoring a new guide. This is empowering our customers to remove roadblocks and complete tasks faster. Last week, Lydia also had the opportunity to visit the Toyota factory in Texas to see how they're putting these capabilities to use in their vision for the future. Let's go to Lydia. If I taught you how to fit a complex accessory to this car, do you think you could remember how to do it tomorrow? How about five different accessories? How about 20? That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? And if you were at Toyota, that's the ask. And with over eight new or updated vehicles being released in 2022 alone, that ask isn't getting any smaller. Fortunately, Toyota doesn't expect their employees to have the memory of an elephant. When it became obvious that not only were there too many processes to remember, but on top of that, there simply aren't enough hours in the day to take employees from their day job and train them in the processes, Toyota realized something needed to change. They sat down and asked the question, what would a world look like where a Toyota employee could fit a new accessory to a vehicle they've never seen before without any training? They worked together with Microsoft to identify the solution, mixed reality. Today, Toyota is using Dynamics 365 guides. I'm on location at the Toyota Logistics Services site in San Antonio, Texas, where a new Toyota Tundra is built every 57 seconds. I'm here with my friend Colby, a team member at Toyota. As Colby approaches the vehicle, Guides automatically identifies the car and locks spatial instructions exactly where he needs them. The guide gives Colby real-time step-by-step guidance on how to fit a lockable storage box to the bed of the pickup. This is a massive improvement on a paper manual. The guidance is really intentional. For example, Video with sound effects helps people activate their senses by knowing what good sounds like, or using shapes of holographic hands in position to show exactly how to approach a task. This kind of guidance is just not available in paper manuals and transforms Colby's experience. So Colby, can you tell us a little bit about how your experience has changed since using guides? So it's a lot easier to use than a hard copy. It allows me to see exactly where my hands are supposed to be, exactly where my tools are supposed to be, and allows me to be more confident in my installation process. That's so great to hear. It feels like the guidance is much more intentional, and I agree. I just don't think we can get that experience from a paper copy. So how is the guide created? Typically, the steps required to complete installation of an accessory are captured either as photos or as a PDF. Power Automate and AI Builder seamlessly take these documents and the information is extracted using a trained AI model. This immediately creates the first version of a guide. Without any delay, it's available on Dynamics 365 guides thanks to seamless integration between Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform. Once it's been signed off by a supervisor, team members in San Antonio can hit the ground running. Now for Toyota, another key priority is scale. When they've created something great, they want to share it out across the entire company as quickly as possible. No problem, Microsoft gets that. So this guide is available to every employee at every site immediately. While each team member is using the guide, they're getting real-time analysis. Colby suspects that one of the steps is taking too long and that there's room to make the process more efficient. He checks his assumption using Power BI. He can easily understand how long it's taking to complete a task and where the inefficiencies are. The operation times show him that he was right and that this step is taking the team far longer than it needs to. Toyota loves to see their teams turn insight straight into action so that they can see benefit as quickly as possible. Have you heard of the term Kaizen? 
It means continuous improvement, and it's the lifeblood here at Toyota. Whether you're a production associate, a salesperson, or the CEO, you know that Kaizen empowers you to proactively improve the way that you work. With Dynamics 365 Guides, he can make immediate changes. Making changes is really easy. Anyone with PowerPoint skills can author a new guide or make changes to an existing one in a matter of minutes. He decides that he should alter a step to improve ergonomics for team members, which would make this process much smoother. Empowering team members on the ground to make changes means that problems are solved much faster. They understand how the process works, and so their improvements are grounded in reality. He wants to get approval from his supervisor, so using the new calling feature, he can quickly present his ideas without ever leaving the application. Using collaboration capabilities, his supervisor can see exactly what he's seeing through the HoloLens. Hey, so I noticed a lot of people were having issues on step three of the storage box installation. So what I did was add these hands in so people would know where to apply pressure. OK, take those hands, Kobe. Move them towards the middle of the storage box. A tad bit right. Apply pressure, and you should be all good. It's great to see them collaborate on this improved step of the procedure together with no delay. With the supervisor's approval, the guide is ready for future use. The team at Toyota describe this as an example of true citizen development. They're no longer reliant on engineers, and they can implement changes to the process far more easily. The beauty of mixed reality is that it's solving challenges here in San Antonio from the ground up. Toyota has seen a 33% decrease in defects since deploying Dynamics 365 guides. That's amazing. With Kaizen at the heart of their business, intelligence is helping them to understand how to improve, and mixed reality is empowering them to adapt their processes faster than ever before. This is all made possible thanks to Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform. And with that, I'll hand back to Charles. Thanks, Lydia. It's incredible to see Toyota use the power of mixed reality to deliver in a time of incredible growth. So many exciting things are coming to mixed reality, including the fantastic capabilities we just saw as part of the Toyota story. And for this next section, we will share how the Power Platform is empowering everyone from professional to citizen developers to create bespoke solutions. This is a key complement to the Dynamics 365 applications. In the next two demos, we will talk about some of the highlights for the Wave 2 features for Power Apps and Power Automate. Xerox deploys fully managed solutions for document processing with their industrial customers. That traditionally has been an art of human knowledge managed in a fragmented and siloed way. With the Power Platform, Xerox has been able to digitize and automate this process to improve efficiency and deliver better customer experiences. Ryan will show us how Xerox was able to build and deploy a Power App in weeks. This app not only helps them keep their mission-critical customers online, it helps employees feel better that the right technician was working on resolving the problem. And with Wave 2, it is now even easier to build applications or automations collaboratively with commenting and presence while authoring apps or flows, much like the experience in Word and Excel. We are also making it easier than ever to use the great automation capabilities in Power Automate. Steven will show the new document automation solution that combines RPA and artificial intelligence to extract data from structured and unstructured documents. The pre-built document automation solution includes data extraction models, experiences for validating document processing, and end-to-end -end automation. And with a new starter kit for Azure Virtual Desktop and Power Automate, you'll be able to automatically scale up or down in the cloud to hundreds of virtual machines and bots for your unattended scenarios. Let's check out the demos. Thank you, Charles. A big part of the business for Xerox is maintaining 
end-to-end -end mission critical business processes for their customers 24 seven. And a big part of that often comes down to getting the right person, the right technician with the right skills to the right place at the right time. That type of uh, very specific skill management uh, is, is a niche area for this business and for many customers. There is no off the shelf app for that. But Xerox was able to build one very quickly on Power Platform. And I'd like to show you an example of, of what they put together. Let's take a look. Uh, you know, with, within just a few weeks, you know, working between the service delivery department and the Xerox Center of Excellence for Power Platform, uh, together they were able to build a completely digital view you know, of all of their customers, of the equipment uh, at those customer locations, and most importantly, of, the, of their workforce, of the technicians and the skills that those technicians have uh, to deliver great service to their customers. Um, uh, you know, getting to a granular level of exactly what is each person qualified to be able to do and, and matching that to the right job at the right time. Uh, and then being able to have a base from which to either upskill those individuals, know where I need to add training or add capabilities, or put a different person onto that particular problem to get a better use of their skills. Uh, it just becomes a, a really transformative step forward for this business process that historically, uh, you know, completely relied on just the knowledge of people and verbal communication. Um, uh, but what's remarkable is not that Xerox were able to build this application with software. What's remarkable is how quickly it came together in just weeks, uh, working completely completely on the low-code power platform. And, and that's what I'd really like to focus on here is the experience of building a power app uh, in low code uh, at Xerox and how much more productive that's getting with all the great features that we're releasing in this uh, release wave. Um, so I'm here in the, in the brand new modern app designer. I'm starting from scratch. Uh, you know, we're gonna build a completely new application here. Uh, but because at a customer like Xerox with data in Dataverse, um, you know, this becomes a lot easier than it ever was before. In fact, I can just point and search at multiple pieces of data across my company. Uh, I'm gonna pull in the table of customers, the table of technicians, uh, the table of, uh, of equipment, and, and just like that, a really robust app will be auto-generated for me. Uh, how did that happen? It's because we're generating it based on the shape of the data itself. Uh, you know, based on what, what columns and rows are, are in these underlying tables, we can put together great looking grids, great looking forms, um, and understand all the relationships between those things. Uh, so whereas you know, any other developer, even, even any traditional Power Apps developer might still be placing individual buttons and boxes on a screen and trying to wire them up, when I'm working in the modern app designer and when I'm, when I'm generating a, a modeled app over Dataverse, uh, I just get so many more features out of the box just this quickly. And right before your eyes, a, a mature business application is, is created. And of course, this is still Power Apps and I can still customize it to my heart's content. Uh, and in fact, I'll, I'm diving in here and I want to customize this particular grid, this view. I'm, I'm adding a column for the job title of the technician. Um, and, and in fact, I want to add columns to this table that aren't even in the database yet. Uh, I can do even that right in line. In fact, I can use the, the full power of Dataverse, this, this data platform that's the same platform sitting under our most mature business applications in Dynamics 365, all those data types and relationships, all right at my fingertips here to, to drag in in a low code experience um, and, then, and then bring back into the rest of this application that I'm building. Um, uh, so, so look, great, great looking user experience out of the box, richly modeled over data in Dataverse, far faster than, than any other way of building an app before, but I still have all of the pixel perfect user experience control that I've come to know and love from the Power Apps Canvas. In fact, it's all right here now just as a component of this bigger experience. Um, I'm gonna add a, a custom page into this modern application. Um, and I'll give it a name. And, and what we'll load here is, is what you know, many people in the audience may be familiar with as the, the Power Apps Canvas Designer, now a component of this bigger experience. Um, and, and not just uh, you know, a, a component embedded here, but, but actually a component that's more intelligent than ever before. Um, in fact, as I, as I pull a, a, a gallery onto this page and, and bind it to that same list of equipment in the underlying Dataverse database, um, Power Apps is gonna suggest what I should do with it. Um, you know, a helpful bubble will pop up here. It'll say, tell me what you want to do with your data. Um, and now using the power of, of, of something called GPT-3, uh, one of the most powerful natural language AI models on the planet, you know, baked right here into the authoring experience, I can just describe in plain language what I want my app to do. 
Uh, in fact, I'll say, hey, show me the pieces of equipment with a print speed over a certain threshold. Um, and, and using that AI power, it will suggest the right PowerFX formula for me to use in my app. And at the click of the button, there we go, I'm off to the races. No more hunting and pecking through reference documentation or, or iterating to get the expression just right. Um, and, and guess what, that AI power follows me in helpful ways all the way through the, the experience of tailoring this UX. Uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna get down and format this date, for example. Um, uh, you know, the date format coming out of the databases has a little more detail in it than I want. I just want it to be a short, friendly date. That used to be a pretty sophisticated expression to write, but now I can just type it like I'd like to see it as an example. And using the power of prose or programming by example, again, the right expression will be suggested for me. I can click it and, and I'm off building my app. Um, the other thing that's great for an organization like Xerox that has, has really uh, gone all in on Power Platform with a center of excellence and building capability um, is, is that you know, I also am able to bring components uh, custom to my organization into this app building experience. And I can write them in code or I can compose them in low code, uh, but I can make them available to every developer in the Power Apps experience to drag rich components onto this canvas. Uh, you know, a profile of people, the profile of skills, uh, though even those are things that I don't need to build up every single time from their low level uh, ingredient parts. I can just drag them into the experience, which gives me you know, a much faster time to market for this app, but also better consistency across all the different apps that I'll build inside the company. Um, so I'm gonna put some finishing touches on, on this particular custom page. We'll, we'll uh, speed up through this part of the build process, and then I'm gonna go back into my overall application and test this thing out end to end, um, uh, which, which again, a huge productivity boost here in the modern app designer, uh, because uh, I'm, I'm using the application in real time uh, as I'm authoring it, and I'm getting real time feedback about how my users will experience it as well, um, including, real-time feedback about how they're experiencing it on different screen sizes and different devices. In fact, uh, this is a fully responsive environment and, and all of those components auto-generated over Dataverse are responsive by default. So I can just drag this window to be a little more narrow, uh, get it looking exactly what I want it to look like. Um, I can even snap the whole view into mobile mode and experience it how my users will on an iOS or Android device. Um, you know, gosh, in any traditional form of software development, uh, getting this level of fidelity of what the end user experience is really like um, is a much more complicated process. You know, I'm exporting things, I'm packaging them, I'm pushing them to test devices, but here in Power Apps, it's all right in front of me in real time. Uh, speaking of real time, uh, here's another big innovation that I'm really excited about. Um, it's, it's bringing real time collaboration into the authoring experience as well. Uh, I'm gonna pop open my comment pane here and, and leave a comment for my collaborator in that service delivery department. Um, and just like I'd comment on a Word document or a PowerPoint, now I'm interacting with my colleagues in real time. Building this app truly is a team sport. Um, and, and that, you know, sort of improving the experience of working with other people in addition to improving the pace at which apps can be developed, that's the engine that's driving real digital transformation velocity for Xerox um, across this and, and many other use cases. Uh, speaking of other use cases, uh, gosh, Power, Power Apps in this one use case is just one example inside of Xerox. Uh, to zoom out and, and look at another, I'm gonna hand it over to Steven. Steven, over to you. Thanks, Ryan. Not only does Xerox use the Power Platform for their own internal purposes, but they also use the Power Platform to enable their customers to be more productive. One of the most common paper processes to automate is working with different types of forms. Lexitas is a small law firm that works with Xerox, and they have to process over 1,500 exhibits every single month with different types of forms and different types of layouts. Before this process was transformed, it took them over 250 hours every month to process these forms. This is not unique to law firms. It's something that spans industries and organizations. Many different companies take paper sales orders, like you see here, and enter them into legacy web portals or legacy applications. It's a ton of wasted time manually copying data back and forth. Luckily, Xerox found the Power Platform's document automation solution that we ship as a starter kit for anybody to process the automation of forms and documents. The starter kit provides a way to automatically import documents and then to use the intelligence of AI Builder to analyze them and get the content automatically. 
our AI supports all the different types of content from simple text fields to more complex layouts like multi-page tables. Let's take a look at what Xerox did to establish this process using the Power Platform. I'll be playing the role of Corey, who is in the center of excellence at Xerox. The first thing Corey did is he labeled the data inside of AI Builder. Anyone can do this. It doesn't require a degree in machine learning to label data. You can just select on the form what field you want to pull information from. In this case, the purchase order appears at the top right, and then I can label the customer name. That's how easy it is to teach AI Builder where each field lives. New, AI Builder also supports different types of objects, like checkboxes on forms, as well as tables. And these tables aren't just simple tables, they can be complex tables too. Here, you can see how it has different rows of data inside of a larger overall row. These layouts are a breeze for AI Builder to pull this information into the platform. The next step is to automate this data with a Power Automate Cloud Flow. This flow template has been included in the document automation starter kit that Xerox is using. The first thing you can see here is we have those same collaboration features that Ryan was talking about earlier, including co-presence, so you can see when other people are inside your flow, and commenting. In this case, one of my colleagues has noted that there's an opportunity here to use Power Automate for Desktop to automatically take the order data and enter it into a legacy web application. So let's see how easy it is to use Power Automate for Desktop. One of the things that really excites me is that Power Automate is now included inside of Windows 11. That means no matter what type of task you want to do to automate on your PC, you can do that at no additional cost without having to discover and download a new program. There are over a billion Windows devices out there, so we're really excited about all the different types of tasks that people will start optimizing. My colleague has built out this flow and shared it with me. So all I need to do is check it out and see if I need to add one or two additional steps to get it working. The Power Automate experience in Windows 11 is extraordinarily easy to use. It just requires drag and drop of any of the hundreds of actions that we have or using our built-in recorder. This is a single unified recorder that makes it possible for you to record your actions no matter what application you're using, be it an app on the web or a Win32 app. Today, I want to automate putting data into this legacy web sales application so I can just hit record. And as I interact with the different elements on the screen, you can see Power Automate is automatically identifying the elements of the screen and knows when I enter new data. I'll save these new actions into the desktop flow here, and I could just as easily adjust the logic with a little bit of drag and drop. Now that I have a flow that can enter all the information into the form, I can return to my main flow and add a Power Automate for desktop step. This is just as easy as adding any one of those thousands of different actions that we have across over 500 connectors. It asks if I want to run in attended or unattended mode. Another new feature we have for Ignite is for unattended. You can now use Azure Virtual Desktop to scale out your infrastructure. So if you have a flow like this one that needs to run whenever there's an order coming in, you can have a cluster of machines that have been set up in Azure Virtual Desktop to automatically scale up or down based on when the forms are arriving. I've passed the data from AI Builder into that desktop flow. So now I can test it out. What's great about testing inside of Power Automate is you don't need to go submit another order again through whatever pipeline you formerly used. Instead, Flow can just reuse the existing data from previous forms that have been submitted. Once I kick off the test, I get a live view as the flow runs, so I can know exactly what step it's on and how long each part of the flow is. The first part of the flow is using that model I created in AI Builder, extracting that information from the form. You can see that took about 15 seconds. Now it's going to go launch that desktop flow on my machine, using the data that has been passed in from the form. But look, I'm not touching the keyboard, I'm not touching the mouse. This is all happening automatically from the desktop flow. The first thing it's gonna go do is it's gonna fill in the customer information, then the purchase order data, 
then the primary contact, and it's going to fill in the data from those tables. All of the line items from the paper form that need to be submitted can be put into this web form. Imagine how much time this is saving. In fact, Xerox found that automations like this can save up to 30% of people's time. It's taking away all this manual typing and data entry from the user and having a bot do it automatically. Did you see how fast that ran? Corey was able to build a solution in Xerox that in just a minute transformed what was previously a tedious, error-prone task of taking data into these forms into something that can run in the background automatically. That's the promise that Xerox is now bringing to their customers. And we're excited to bring these new capabilities in Power Automate to everybody in this release wave. Back to you, Charles. Thank you, Ryan and Steven. It is exciting how Xerox is bringing these amazing solutions to their customers. In Power Apps, we saw just how fast you can develop a business application working in the modern app designer over Microsoft Dataverse with AI-powered authoring features, power effects, and seamless collaboration for Fusion Teams. With each release wave, Power Apps and Power Automate continue to evolve and are enabling customers like Xerox to drive transformational change faster than ever before. It has never been easier to get started. So everything we showed you today is at the heart of how we think about pulling a thread through the Microsoft Cloud. It's this data-first approach ultimately landing in the hands of people working together. The innovations I have highlighted here today are just the start. Throughout this session and at Ignite, you can learn more about empowering everyone with data and analytics, building new solutions to power every business process in the intelligent infrastructure and platform of Microsoft Azure. Now, to talk about how businesses build a data culture within their organization and what's new with Power BI in this wave, let me hand it over to Arun, who will cover the exciting investments and capabilities that are coming in wave two. Thanks, Charles. With Power BI, our goal is to help our customers drive a data culture where every employee can make every decision armed with data. I'm really excited about the upcoming wave of innovation. We have so many exciting new capabilities coming out, and I'll just give you a quick preview of some of the major new features we have coming. One of the customers we've been working very closely with is 3M. 3M is one of the world's largest companies and a constant fixture in the Fortune 500. 3M is truly global, with offices in over 70 countries and their products being sold in pretty much every country on the planet. Today, more than 60,000 3M products are used in homes, businesses, schools, hospitals, and other industries. 3M is known for innovation, with one-third of their sales coming from products invented within the last five years. 3M began their journey with Power BI over five years ago, and tens of thousands of employees at 3M use Power BI every single month to ensure that everyone is armed with data to make decisions. In the demo, you will see how 3M is using Power BI today. Will Thompson will show you how business analysts in 3M can create sophisticated calculations by simply using natural language. You will see how Power BI's AI capabilities are always working in the background to provide insights automatically. And you will see how easy it is for 3M employees to collaborate and stay on top of their business with Power BI goals. Over to you, Will. Thanks, Arun. 3M's more than 90,000 employees around the world work daily to unlock the power of people, ideas, and science to reimagine what's possible. With 51 technology platforms, 3M manufactures products used in a wide range of industries, including healthcare, transportation, and manufacturing. 3M's applying science and innovation in collaborative ways to improve their customers' lives daily. 3M has used data to transform its manufacturing process. And through a continuous improvement process, digital information has been combined with lean manufacturing concepts to deliver more insights on the shop floor. 3M started using Power BI in 2016 and democratizing data across its, all its organization tiers, from the shop floor operators through engineers and analysts, landing up to managers and directors. And distributing insights in this way helps them make data-driven decisions throughout their organization. Let's talk about how they're using Power BI. Analysts at 3M have been able to build these rich, detailed reports to help people drill down on gap analysis assets on their machines, uh, or to help uncover issues with availability and downtime. I'm playing the part of one of these analysts, and I can see here there's a high number of impact-causing defects on the part of the machine that applies adhesives. And where that's happened, it's caused some spikes here in downtime, and it's caused our availability to drop below our target of 85%. 
Now, perhaps I want to see what the average impact was over the last 10 days. That can help smooth out these spikes and show us what the trends look like. Power BI's calculations use the DAX expression language. But rather than having to learn how to write those formulas, I can just use natural language and type rolling 10-day average of downtime. Power BI automatically translates that into the appropriate calculation. I get a preview of the result, and I can see alternative suggestions based on what I asked for. I can see the DAX that's been generated too, which helps give me confidence in the results and helps me learn for the future. And I can add this calculation to my report and have it interact with all of the other visuals. It's never been easier to enrich your data models just using natural language. But the analyst who created this report isn't responsible for those manufacturing lines. Throughout 3M, they use teams to communicate. And here, my colleague Michael was asking about that report. I can share the report right here in Teams. All I need to do is choose the Power BI share option, select the report, and I can send the message. Let's swap over to Michael's view. I get that message in Teams, and I get to it with just one click. I never get taken out of my workflow within Teams. And that really helps. Bringing those insights to people where they spend their time working is vitally important when you're trying to drive a data culture throughout your whole organization. Now, Michael could click around here to find insights for himself, but why make him do the work? He might miss something important as well. Power BI brings powerful AI capabilities to bear on your data to direct your attention to the most important insights. Power BI starts off with the context of what's in this report, which we know is important to Michael because he asked the analyst for it. And it shows us that there have been some recent anomalies and trends in downtime and availability that might warrant some further investigation. No more hunt and peck. The insights adhere straight for me. More than that, Power BI doesn't provide me just with the headline, the what in the data, but it also shows me some possible explanations. And this is the why behind the data. Power BI has uncovered some insights here with a, a rising trend in downtime and some issues with availability. And it's provided me with some possible explanations. It's found the same insights that we did before about adhesives causing a problem, but it's also highlighting issues in the Rockford, Illinois plant. And that's something I didn't know about. In fact, this report didn't even show plants in any of the charts. Power BI is giving me confidence that I won't miss any important insights. 3M's execution model is based on a series of bottom-up accountability meetings called tiers. It starts down on the shop floor. In the lean model, this is called Gemba, where the true value of manufacturing built, and it scales up through each decision levels up to the highest management. And in those lower tiers, managers, analysts, engineers, and machine operators get together to review the goals and dive into any possible issues to understand root causes and solve them to win the next hour or the day. And if you think about how people collaborate and tell these sort of stories at work, the number one tool they use is PowerPoint. And now when people tell these stories, we have natively embedded Power BI content right here within those slides. I've got metadata here that shows me when the data was last updated and how it's been classified. The people who tell these stories have that data in context as they're communicating. In a meeting with my teammates, I love that this is live data that I can slice and dice and click around in. But if I was preparing to review with my plant director, I really don't want this data to change, so I can lock and save a snapshot of it. I've got full control over the refresh of the data in this slide. I can do things like adding annotations to highlight where I've seen issues here with availability. And I could use PowerPoint's animations to help tell my story. 3M close out their meetings by tracking progress towards key metrics. And 3M track over 200 goals throughout their organization. So they have to prioritize by filtering those to just a risk or behind. And 3M's looking to leverage Power BI's goals feature to do that. They're aligning their organization from production managers on the shop floor up to regional directors behind these key business metrics. Notice we're still in Power BI to do this. It's using the same data as the folks responsible for the manufacturing lines were seeing in their detailed reports. Now, they filter this view down to just see the at risk or behind goals. So it's important that this status field is kept up to date. And 3M can leverage a new capability in Power BI to do that with automatic status rules. So this goal is connected to the data in the report we were looking at, and the status is currently being set manually. We want to automate that, so let's set up a rule. And it's going to mark this goal as on track when the availability is over 85%, or behind if it drops. Hit Save, and it's automatically updated to be on track. When these goals change, it can even kick off Power Automate workflows to notify the plant managers or the folks responsible for the goal, or maybe create tasks for people to take remedial action. 
We're making all this so simple. The combination of Power BI, Power Apps, and Power Automate. 3M used to run their execution model on the shop floor as close as possible to the machines with physical glass walls that would be manually updated with hard copies and post-it notes. And each facility would report their win the day status as red or green per pillar. But they digitized this process using a power app to capture those red green statuses, to add commentary about the actions they were gonna take and crucially embed the Power BI reports that show those detailed metrics that contribute to the overall status. Everyone who takes part in these daily meetings gets the information they need at their fingertips, even on the go, to simplify their processes from the ground up. So let's recap. In the next release wave, you'll be able to add calculations to your Power BI datasets just using natural language. You can take your Power BI reports and embed them into PowerPoint slides to help tell your stories with data. And using Power BI goals with automatic status updates, you can align everyone in your organization behind their key business metrics. Back to you, Erin. Thanks so much, Will. As you can see, 3M is driving a data culture where every employee is armed with data to make decisions. With Power BI, we can empower every individual, every team, and every organization. BI is truly a team sport. The collaborative aspects of BI is what makes insights real and what allows teams to make decisions. And you saw how deeply Power BI was woven into the team's experience, making collaboration very, very simple. Now I'm gonna to transition to Satish to talk about our industry clouds. Over to you, Satish. Thank you, Arun. Earlier this year, Sati announced our vision for Microsoft's industry clouds and what we'll be bringing to market. We've made tremendous progress on this journey. And today, we're reaching another important milestone. I'm excited to announce the general availability of the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services and the Microsoft Cloud for Nonprofit. Our deep commitment to industry is not new, but it's taken on a new sense of urgency, and we're committed to helping every organization to use technology to improve time to value, increase agility, and reduce costs. These new industry clouds bring together the breadth of our offerings across the Microsoft Cloud, Azure, Power Platform, Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365 all underpinned by a common data model. Atop, we've added new capabilities, connectors, analytics, and AI models unique to these industries. Finally, our offerings can be extended by an unmatched global ecosystem of thousands of trusted partners. We work with the leading ISVs and system integrators so our customers have complete solutions they need to address their unique business challenges. Now, Let's take a deeper look at one of these industry clouds, the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services. Around the world, we're experiencing new challenges in today's business environment. The pandemic has accelerated digital adoption by financial institutions and their customers. Today, there are three key areas that financial institutions are investing in to develop a compelling customer experience. First, a deep understanding of their customer to ensure interactions have relevance. Secondly, determining the best way to engage with their customer and meet them where they're at, whichever channel that might be. And finally, empowering employees with modern tools to collaborate effectively with their peers and customers. To see what's possible with these industry clouds and financial services in particular, we'll be showcasing Virgin Money today. As a top digital bank anchored in customer experience, they know better than anybody the importance of using technology to wow their customers. And to show you more about this customer scenario, I'd like to hand off to Tom. Thank you, Satish. When we think about banking, what usually comes to mind? Complexity, confusion, paperwork, getting turned down? What if it was all about the digital and all about the yes? That's what Virgin Money is out to do. In their quest to make people happier about money, they never stop looking at how every bit of banking works. Let's see how the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services can help Virgin Money reduce the meh and increase the wow in a modern, personalized, secure, and compliant way. Let's look at an experience through the lens of customer Lucy, who's been with Virgin Money for a little while. She's just gotten a new job and receives a congratulatory message on her preferred channel. Wait, how did Virgin Money know? Lucy had updated her LinkedIn only today. On top of that, Virgin Money remembered Lucy's request from a few weeks ago that she wanted to speak about investment options after she got her new job. As if on cue, Virgin Money offers Lucy a quick and easy way to schedule a consultation. Lucy is delighted that Virgin Money is so on top of their game and uses the portal to quickly schedule a virtual financial goals review. 
Before the virtual meeting, Journey Orchestration sends a quick survey to Lucy to ask about any specific topics she's interested in. She mentions that she is considering buying a home and just wants to chat about options to grow her money. Because she indicated an interest in buying a home, she's offered an option to start the loan application right then and there to be ahead of the game. This includes all the different aspects of the loan, such as guarantors and documents that are required as part of the process, all done completely digitally and easily. Lucy loves that all these things are accessible to her on any device she wants to use and completes the application. She's on her way and so glad that she chose to bank with Virgin Money. At the bank, Jan is an advisor on investment products and he'll be working with Lucy. Before their chat, Jan can quickly get up to speed on Lucy and her accounts. Jan uses the new Unified Customer Profile to look at a holistic financial picture of Lucy, unifying data from various sources. This is a rich view that's especially helpful for long-term financial planning. It includes life events and milestones that can really help him understand Lucy better, as well as be aware of important upcoming dates. Jan can also deep dive into Lucy's financial picture across every type of account. Jan has never had this kind of visibility in one place before, and it's critical to his work in driving personalized engagements. With this experience, Jan not only sees information about Lucy as an individual, but also any relations and connections, giving him a much broader picture than ever before. He sees that Lucy has an elevated churn risk, determined with out-of-the-box financial service-specific AI models, and knows that helping her complete this loan will be hugely beneficial to their relationship. Taking a step back, it's worth noting that the customer information Jan sees here is available in any model, canvas, or custom app. This empowers Virgin Money to scale a single unified customer profile to any team in any form in a secure way. Back in Jan's world, he can use the new experiences in the Cloud for Financial Services to keep tabs on the status of her loan as well. This includes visibility into every aspect of the loan, such as the loan details, co-guarantors, assets and liabilities, and rich views of documents. Here, Jan can review document status at a single glance and in one click can request Lucy to upload needed files. This experience for Jan unifies what is usually so many different apps or pieces of paper into one solution. When it's time to chat, Lucy and Jan both hop into a Teams meeting. With the new collaboration manager, Jan has the same rich customer information in the same experience he's video calling Lucy on. This is a world of difference versus juggling multiple apps and systems. Jan can focus on what's most important, talking to Lucy. As they chat, Jan answers the questions that Lucy has about the loan. He also finds out that Lucy's trying to save on spending in order to invest. Based on Lucy's specific situation, Jan talks to her about tax-efficient investment options that would uniquely benefit her, as well as savings pots within the Virgin Money app that she can use to monitor and limit her spending. Lucy is so surprised that she can do all this with one bank and that they even help her to save. She requests more information about the investment options and Jan can seamlessly send that to her via email. Back on the loan, Lucy asks if the bank can give her a discount since she will be investing through Virgin Money. Jan promises he will advocate for her and see what he can do. While a lot of the process is automated, Virgin Money always gives space to surprise their customers. Concluding the call with Lucy, Jan requests an approval internally for the arrangement fee to be waived based on Lucy's loyalty. The approval capability makes it easy for the Virgin Money team to work together in a familiar team's experience. What for many banks is mailing paper or carrying documents and calling each other up becomes instant, digital, and collaborative. Jennifer, the underwriter, can review Lucy's information quickly and approves the fee waiver. Jan can immediately let Lucy know the great news and Lucy is elated. She's feeling great at how Virgin Money takes care of her. As the loan progresses, both Virgin Money and Lucy can clearly see where things are and any actions needed.
A final disclosure document needs Lucy's signature, and it is seamlessly sent to and signed by Lucy completely digitally. Because of how quick and efficient Virgin Money is, as well as the discount she got, Lucy can smoothly close on her dream home. She just did all of this completely digitally from her mobile phone. She loves how Virgin Money has made managing her money and achieving her dreams so easy. Outside of banking, the entire Virgin family is there for her. Virgin helps Lucy do everything from getting broadband service for her new home through Virgin Media, to getting a great travel rewards card with Virgin Atlantic, and finding her new favorite drink with Virgin Wines. With delightful experiences powered by the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, we can show the world what putting the customer first really means. It's time to say hello to Brighter Money. Thank you, and Satish, back to you. Thanks, Tom. It's great to see how the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services can enable Virgin Money with their digital transformation by giving them a unified view of their customer, helping employees collaborate, and most of all, provide their customers with a great experience. Now, with the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, nonprofit, and healthcare in the market today, stay tuned for more industry clouds from us. I'm looking forward to what we can all do together to accelerate digital transformation on behalf of our customers in every industry. Now, let me hand it back to James. Thank you so much, Satish, and wow, that was a uh, quite the lineup of capabilities. Lots and lots to look at. Uh, lots of interesting customer case studies. The thing that always gets me most excited is when the technology makes a difference to our customers. Now, turns out that we've only scratched the surface. We've got hundreds of capabilities available in Release Wave 2. Uh, on, the, on the screen, there's a URL that will allow you to download the uh, release plan. Uh, if you've got the time, I would encourage you to do it. All of these capabilities shipped on October 1st, so they're available to you now, uh, either in Sandbox or in your production environment. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hello, 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 and welcome to Microsoft Into Focus Business Applications Live. I couldn't be more excited to dive deeper into what we just experienced. My name is Heather Newman, and I'm thrilled to be here as we break down how these new features can truly change the way you do business. And we're surrounded by our awesome Microsoft community today. Hello, yay. Hurts. Yes, and they are clearly just as excited as I am to be joined again by three of my Microsoft colleagues who just presented what's new in business applications. Charles Lamana, Arun Ulagachakan, and Satish Thomas. Woohoo! Hello. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Great to be here. Yay! So happy. So we're going to jump right in. Okay. So what are you most excited about with this new release? And have you heard any early customer feedback on the new features? Charles, we're going to start with you. Awesome. There's just so much amazing innovation in this release that it's hard to pick one. But if I had to, it'd be uh, the new voice channel inside Dynamics 365 customer service. What this does is it makes it so you can receive inbound calls as well as web chats or social media messages. And what's really exciting about it is it's fully integrated with Dynamics, but we can also just imbue AI throughout the entire experience. We can do real-time transcriptions. We can do call summarization, we can do translation, coaching. There's just so much that's possible once we have that channel wired up inside of Dynamics. So it's a great example of how data and AI is really shifting the way you deliver business application experiences. And if I had to choose one, that would be it. OK, check. All right, we're in. For me, that's got to be goals in Power BI. So uh, it's currently in public preview. What it lets you do is it lets you tell Power BI what's most interesting to you. Like, what are you trying to achieve, okay. right? And then Power BI takes care of everything else. It tracks your data, so you wake up in the morning and I can see exactly how I'm performing against my goals. Okay. It's built into teams <laughs> because we know that goals is a team sport so that everybody can work together. It is AI driven. So we have all of the AI capabilities in Power BI helping you figure out how you can achieve and exceed your goal. And the best part is it drives automated action. Right, So you can define when the goal status needs to change, and when it changes, if you can trigger Power Automate, and then Power Automate can kick off any business process. Customers are absolutely loving it. We have tens of thousands of customers using it today, and it's only in public preview. So very, very, very excited about yeah, it. Yeah, super excited. Satish. So 
if I had to pick one, so yeah. for, for industry clouds, um, so we have the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, previews of manufacturing, retail, uh, and nonprofit and, and uh, financial services that we just GA'd um, this week. Yeah. Uh, so if I had to pick one, it will have to be the unified customer profile uh, service within the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services. It helps retail banks build a deep understanding of their client, be it from transactional, observational sources, uh, and we like to call it the brain because that's the you know customer view that is then used to power intelligent customer engagement and a lot more business process. So hard to pick one, but if I had to pick one, that would be it. That is awesome. <laughs> a lot of connectivity here. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So we've experienced the demos earlier. We heard the roadmap, and now we have a couple of questions from our awesome community members. So we're going to get into that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Charles, this first question is for you, and it comes from Sharon Sumner. She's the CEO of Casper365 and one of our awesome user group leaders from the UK. Hello, Sharon. And Sharon, what's your Hello, question? Heather. Hi. <laughs> hey, Charles. Um, so which area of progress that Microsoft is driving forward most excites you, and why? That's a great question. Thank you, Sharon, for sharing it. I'd say the, the thing that really is driving a big change in how we think about Dynamics 365 or Power Platform and everything else is really this idea of new collaboration. We're in this hybrid work environment, hopefully emerging from the COVID pandemic, and we're gonna have to figure out how do you collaborate in a digital way and how do you make it so every application, every experience you use is collaboration enabled. So as you probably saw in all those Dynamics 365 demos and Power Platform demos, so much focus on commenting, uh, joining meetings, making phone calls, messages, all integrated and embedded because we realize it's not just about breaking silos, or breaking down silos between data inside your company, it's also about breaking down the silos between people. How do you bring people together and actually make them run your processes more efficiently? So collaboration, collaboration, collaboration is definitely <laughs> the thing I'm most excited about more broadly. That's awesome. Like we say in board games, it's an all play. <laughs> yeah. right, yes. Maybe. Okay, yes. awesome. Thank you, Sharon. See ya. Thank you. Awesome, Charles. So this next question is for Arun, and it comes from Parvna Chana, and he is a BI architect and consultant at Paritas IT Solutions. Hi, Parvna. Could you tell us your question? Hey, thanks, Heather. Hi, Aaron. Um, my question for Arun is, does Power BI see competition from other BI tools available in the market today? Uh, what will keep Power BI ahead of competitors? Thank you. Uh, hey, Parvna, great to see you again. Um, so yes, we absolutely see a ton of competition. There's a lot of innovation going on, and Power BI is leading the pack. Today, over 300,000 organizations use Power BI today around the world, including 97% of the Fortune 500, 97%, and it's still growing like crazy. Uh, if you just want to get a sense of how popular Power BI is, I'd say just pull out your phone, whether it's iPhone or Android, look at Power BI Mobile's reviews. Power BI Mobile alone has 50 times as many reviews as all of the other other BI products combined, unbelievable, right? And the team is working incredibly hard. One of the things that Power BI is known for is shipping innovation like clockwork. Every single week, we ship new features. Every single month, there's a new release of Power BI Desktop, and that's been going for five years. So we are investing in three major areas. One is around how we empower every individual. That's all about AI and allowing the, our AI algorithms to help you find patterns in your data. It's, and we're working on something really cool, which is bringing those insights into the physical environment around you. It's called data in space, and when it ships, it's going to light people up. The second area is really around how we empower every team. And there, we're really focused on making sure that all of your insights is built into Teams, it's built into Excel, it's built into PowerPoint. And it works very well with the rest of the Power Platform. And the third area is really around how we empower every organization. And this is really where Power BI works very well with Azure Synapse Analytics, our big data analytics platform making sure that we deliver great experiences at any scale. So the team is really excited to get all this innovation to you guys, and thank you. Good to see you again, Parma. Absolutely. We set up the blog coming out every week with all <laughs> yes. that goodness. I love that. I love it. So it's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Parvna. I appreciate the question. Right on. Cool. So we've got another question from one of our fantastic Microsoft community leaders in Thailand. So Fantip Kokilanan. Fantip, what is your question, please? Hello, everyone. Industry solutions seems to have been featured quite a bit over the last year in Microsoft events. What is Microsoft's approach here, and what role do partners play in bringing this solution to market? Cool. Thanks for the question, Fantip. And uh, so, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the, you know, the industry cloud journey started about a year ago, and so far, we've brought the Microsoft Cloud for, health, uh, for Healthcare to market. We've got previews announced for manufacturing, retail, 
uh, nonprofit and financial services we just GA'd this week. Um, and if you look at each of these industry clouds, there's a common pattern. The first thing is, and probably the most important thing is data. How do we bring in high value data that's relevant for an industry, be it through connectors uh, in a certain shape that is understandable and, and uh, you know, allows for uh, customers and partners to build insights on top of? Uh, the second thing is for each of these industry clouds, seeding it with industry specific capabilities. So if you think about the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, uh, things like Patient 360, patient engagement. If you look at uh, things like the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, uh, banking customer engagement, Client 360. And then the third layer, which is probably even more important than any, uh, any of the below layers, is the partner ecosystem. So this is where, if you take any industry like healthcare, financial services, retail, manufacturing, nonprofit, there's just so many use cases um, out there. And that's where we, we enable uh, our partners to build on top of the same stack so that they can enable solutions and show up alongside us. And all of these together, uh, together is what enables us to provide the most comprehensive set of use cases for our customers in every industry and in every region. And, and keeping up with the earlier tempo, industry clouds, industry clouds, industry clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I Thanks love for the that. question. Thank you, Fifty, <laughs> for the question. Thank and you. yes, the, the partner <laughs> ecosystem is amazing for business applications and Microsoft in general. So partners, thank you so much for all you do. So our last question comes from Olga Marti from right here in Washington State. She's a team lead at Plain Concepts and is watching from our live audience here. So, Olga, what's your question? Hello. Oh, so I'm reading it, okay. So the question is, how is Microsoft transitioning to hybrid work environment and what will it do to help other companies with Microsoft products to do that? So we're gonna go around the horn with this one. Uh, let's start with Charles, how about that? Yes, this is perfect given my earlier <laughs> right, spiel about collaboration. I mean, the, the biggest thing I'd say is approaching it with an open mind. Yeah. Because the reality is we don't know what it looks like. To, to collaborate and be productive in this hybrid environment, we're gonna have to learn as we go through the process. And yeah. the way we're doing this at Microsoft is we're really embracing things like Teams meetings, making sure people have the camera on, using the chat, even if you're physically in the room. Um, but of course, also making it so that we even change our presentation formats and modalities. So maybe instead of a PowerPoint presentation, we write a Word document. Yep. Maybe instead of making everybody get in a meeting, we actually resolve it through offline review. You know, and this is going to really permeate every single aspect of how we do work. And there's going to be a plethora of changes across all these different areas. And that's the only way we're really going to be able to kind of end up on the other side of this in a way that works for everybody. Because um, the future is going to be increasingly digital, increasingly hybrid, increasingly in the cloud. And that's what the next five to 10 years is going to be about figuring out. And I'm so excited that at Microsoft, we have an amazing community that we get to work with as we chart this path forward. And please keep the feedback coming. Please keep telling us what we can improve in advance because that's how we're going to make it better. And that's how we're actually going to deliver the technology yep. so all of our customers can live in this new hybrid world. Awesome. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. All right, Rocket. All right. All right. Uh, what I would do is I want to talk about you know, making sure that everybody, regardless of where they're working, mm -hmm. can work with data, have the intelligence at their disposal to be able to make great decisions. Because we live in a hybrid world, but the world is awash with data. You know, making sure that you can have the right insights, that's certified, that's appropriate, that can arm you to make great decisions is critically important, which is why we're bringing those insights to Teams, into PowerPoint, into Excel, all the applications where people do their work. The second part of that equation is, as people are working remotely, it is critically important to secure the data. So in many ways, your permissions have to travel with the data. Mm -hmm. So think about Microsoft information protection, the ability to apply a security label on a, on a piece of data and have Power BI connect to it and inherit the security label and then allow people to export the data out of Power BI and have that label uh, follow the data into Excel, into PowerPoint so that the Excel document, the word, uh, you know, uh, the PowerPoint uh, deck is actually secured as well. So I really want to make sure that, hey, we arm people with data and we make sure that the, you know, the protection travels with the data because people are working from everywhere. Yep, uh, the seamless, secure experience. Hashtag. All right, there <laughs> we go. Satish? So I'll, I'll, I'll give my perspective from the, you know, what we're seeing with customers in every industry. So if sure. you think about, you know, Obviously, you know, the last year or so, the amount of transformation and digital transformation that has happened has gotten compressed, and we all know that. Yeah. But if you look at each industry, so for example, virtual um, healthcare, mm -hmm. right? Virtual health 
used oh. to be a use case that was not very, you know, mainstream. Yep. And, and look at what happened last year, right? So leveraging the tools we have around teams and collaboration tools is being used in the healthcare context and became a very, very critical use case. In the case of financial services, um, wealth management scenarios, right? Typically, you'd probably go in and meet somebody for insurance, et cetera. Now, all of that happens remotely in, in many cases, right? So again, underlying technology that, that we all talked about in terms of collaboration, business processes, insights, uh, and just the infrastructure enabling these scenarios. Manufacturing, right? Uh, retail, curbside pickup wasn't a very common scenario one plus year ago, all of a sudden super critical you know, remote shopper assistance. So across each of these industries, just like we are having to transform, our customers in every industry is having to transform. And, and, and it's great that through these industry clouds that we're able to help our customers navigate and embrace that uh, alongside them. Yeah, this is a trifecta of awesome right here, you know? <laughs> yeah, I love it, that's great. So um, in our last few moments, uh, from your perspective, uh, I would love to hear from each of you what our audience can do today to get started with business applications. Satish, let's start with you. I can go for that one first. So first is the community. Right, this is one where, I mean, look at all these amazing people mm -hmm. around us and many, many more uh, online and out there. It's just get started, right? If you look at community across part platform, Dynamics, uh, Azure, and just the industry clouds that we have, there's just so many ways to engage, so many people to learn from. Uh, so this is also another, you know, like Charles mentioned, something that we look out for a lot in terms of listening to what are we doing well, what do we need to do better? So. Thank you for you know, giving us all that feedback. So if there's anybody out there who's interested, wanting to get in, uh, or, or just want to get more engaged, join the, one of the communities and, and be part of this fun group. Absolutely. Uh, AKA.MS at Community Rocks will take you right in there today. So <laughs> there you go. Arun, let's so talk. Plus one of the community point that Satish yeah. made. Yeah. I would also say start building. The mm -hmm. Power Platform makes it incredibly easy yeah. to go build applications, get insights from data, to automate business processes. And it's so easy to get started, right? So go build a Power App today, go build a Power BI report, go automate a workflow, you know, go build a chatbot. Uh, you know, that's something that everybody can do today and you can sign up within a few seconds and start building. Awesome. Charles? So I love everyone's answer, of course. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> the, the, I mean, the, the other thing I would probably add is for, just like you can start building with Power Platform, start trying Dynamics 365. We've done a ton of work to make it incredibly easy to get started and build some amazing experiences and change how your business operates with the Dynamics 365 applications, whether it's sales or customer service or finance or getting a customer data platform or even understanding the processes in your company. It's never been easier to get started with Dynamics up in the cloud and take advantage of all this great data, AI, and collaboration capabilities that we've delivered. But of course, if you already use Dynamics and you already use Power Platform and you're looking for something else, I'd say, Go check out our release notes. If you want to read 400 pages of amazing features, <laughs> which we couldn't possibly fit in our 90 minute session. The wave. Yes, exactly. The release wave, yes. yes. The wave two release notes. There are just an amazing long tail of capabilities, which may not be, say, worthy of a keynote or something, but make a big difference in yeah. what the experience and the value you can get from Dynamics or Power Platform. So it's never been easier to get started. It's never been uh, better in, to be in business applications than Microsoft. So uh, just go give it a go give it a, a chance. Yeah. That'd be my suggestion. Little things sometimes mean the most. You know, yes. you never know. I just want to say thank you for all of you for your passion about the community. I, I see it every day because. That's what I do for y'all, so it's really great to see it. And uh, I also, I know that, so this year, you know that we launched our public preview of the user group experience for Power Platform and Dynamics 365. And so we have a lot of user group leaders, one, here in our studio audience and also out there. So I wanted to say thank you to our user group leaders. You, you are, you're just bringing so much to it by uh, connecting, networking, and we're very excited to roll out a bunch of, we just rolled out a bunch of new features. We're gonna eventually general availability, uh, the user group experience, which is really exciting. So we're uh, putting more uh, emphasis on that with um, templates and, and also, so fellas, 
What do you think about uh, having one of two of you pop in to a user group to say hello at some point here? Yeah? That'll be awesome. Be yeah. But yeah. All in. <laughs> All right, y'all heard it, right? One or two. One or two. two, that's it. One or two. All five, three of you? Six, no, yeah. no. Well, I'm, like, I'm coming for all of you. They're doing it every day. Right? Right? Every, every day? single okay. day. What's the month? Okay, yeah. cool. All, in. all right, yeah. all in? All right, yeah. I knew that. So thank you. So yeah. with that, thank you so much. Um, we are going to bring this live into focus to a close. And a huge thank you to our guests for sharing their insights. I'm going to give you a hand. Thank you so much for thank being you. here today. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And I want to say a special thank you to our community. Your passion for all of the products and for each other is incredible, and we cannot wait to find out what you'll create, celebrating everything we've announced here today. So if you've missed any of the live discussions or want to rewatch the incredible lineup of new capabilities featured today, you can check out the sessions on demand in the session scheduler. And it's not too late to add it to your digital backpack. Also, please come and join our community and continue these discussions in our user groups.